thinking about your whole life and thinking about the other, you know, some of the more personal material in your films, that made me wonder, okay, why does, why does Zach pick a scene in both films to have this sort of a emasculating moment? Like, oh, was, that a, was that a thing that happened to you? That's such a great question. I always felt that. I always, from the time I was a kid, and there was jock culture in public school system, and that's how you made friends, you joined a team, and I was interested in the arts, and I always felt alienated and emasculated. I, I always felt like, God, am I, what planet am I on? Where all these kids have found sports and they've found uh, this alpha maleness to compete with that I don't feel a part of at all. And in fact, the very nature of JD on Scrubs and the reason so many people liked the character was because he didn't try to compete in that world at all. He said, I don't know anything about sports. I don't know anything about, but he was still straight. I think one of the most successful things about the, the character of JD was that he showed men. You could be silly and not into sports and, um, and effeminate's too strong a word, but in touch with your feminine side and want to hug men and, and have a, 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 a best buddy that you were almost like two girlfriends with, but be straight. Right. You know, because my whole life and a lot of people's lives, that was like, you know, gay was used as an adjective. Oh, that's so gay, gay, sure. gay, gay. And so early on, I was trying to ride both worlds of, of, of have friends and be in fucking public school in New Jersey, but also be who I was, which was a very sensitive kid, very in touch with the arts, very in touch with theater and musicals and, and, and not trying to compete on a, on a, on a traditional masculine ma level. And to this day, you know, I, I would come out the stage door of the Broadway show I just did, and guys, it's going to hear a laugh, but guys want to hug me. They say that to me, like, can I have a hug? And they're kind of joking, like, let me get a hug from JD, who was a hugger. Right. But it's also like, it showed a generation of younger people, like, hey, man, you can, you can hug a man and not do the back tap, and it's okay. You're not, it doesn't mean you're a homosexual, if that's what you're afraid of. Right. So maybe that's it. Maybe that I was, I was trying to show in both films that that um, that I never successfully ever competed in in, 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 in the traditional masculine ways of of um, of being a man. <laughs>